for this demonstration on dichotomous keys, you'll want to have six random students that you pick come up to the front of the class and those six students will face the classroom and we're going to divide them and classify them based on dichotomous keys. Um, so let's begin with step number one and you'll put this on the chalkboard teachers and students can put this on their paper as well. We're going to put a one and then an A and a B next to it. Look at the group and you're talking to the rest of the class who is not picked. They're looking at these six students. Look at the um, six up here and what is some absolutely unmistakable feature that um, you can use that would that would break this down into two groups and they'll talk about well there's hair color and there's the color of their pants and there's the color of their hands and there's whether they have a smile or this and that and, and and phrase it like this this time as well as all the rest of them now what is something that um, a thousand out of a thousand people would absolutely never miss they would all get it correctly every single time Usually the first one you're, you're going to want to do something like male and female if you have you know the different genders up there So let's do that. So we have Some that are male and we also have some that are female that's on the board now and it's on students papers as well If they're doing that since there's only two females here Let's go ahead you boys kind of stand off there at the side for a moment come up here girls. Okay, good um, Females, we're going to deal with you, so you're going to be in step 2, A and B, so let's go back here to step 1B, that's where you were. We will say go to 2, because that's what we're going to do now. Uh, we'll come back to that here in a little bit. So looking at the two girls here, what is some feature that is absolutely unmistakable? Is it hair color? Um, with these, it's pretty clear, but if you called this one blonde and that one brown, some people may call that one, you know, dishwater brown. Some people would, and, and or dishwater blonde, I mean. So, you know, the, the, the use of the word blonde in this case sort of works, but, you know, maybe 999 out of 1,000 people might get that one right, and, and somebody else may get in reverse. You just never know. You want something that is so clear nobody would, would miss it, so let's go with maybe the color of their pants. We have one that has blue pants, and since we're talking about her specifically, a female with blue pants, she's down to herself. We can now call her what her name is, and I just gave her the name Sarah. This one is a female with black pants, and since she's all by herself now, we will call her by her name, which is Shannon. All right, so girls, you're done. You can go have a seat, thank you very much. And you four boys that were over here, you come back. We left off on step one with you. We used step two with the girls, so where does that leave us? That's right, step three, A and B. So now let's go back to one A. We now know where we're going to, so let's put go to three. And everybody look at these four boys and what is a feature that divides them into um, two groups. And it can either be, you know, a group of two and two or it can be a group of one and three of something else. I think we'll do that since it's pretty clear that three of them are humans and three others are non, or one other, <laughs> three, one other is non-human. So since the non-human refers to just as one, that's going to be a Jar Jar. A little Star Wars character there. So thank you, Jar Jar. Go have a seat. And the three that were not, uh, that, were, that were human, we're going to put four A and B here, and we will say up here, go to four. Catching on? So for step four, we're going to split these three now these three boys that are here, and what is an absolutely unmistakable way to do that, something clear. Um, if your students are wearing, you know, one of them has a necklace on, or one of them is wearing a bright green shirt, and the others are wearing black or something, that is absolutely un unmistakable, that's fine. Um, unmistakable here would be, you know, one of them is a superhero, and the other two, that would be this one, right? And these two are non, superheroes and if you are a superhero since you're by yourself then your name is I gave him the name Fantastico for the non superheroes so you're done thank you Fantastico we will go to step five so we'll put a five a and a B down here and now we're down to these two right here um, there's probably you know ten different features here that we could use to distinguish them 
but I think we're just going to go with one of them has a helmet with a visor and the other has a cap with a mole on it. He's a farmer. So the one with a visor and the helmet, we will call him Paul. Isn't Paul the policeman? Thank you, Paul. And then the other one, his name is Bob, Bob the farmer. Good. So everybody's sitting down and then with those six sitting down, our list is done, right? Call one of them up randomly and let's see if this works. Go to step one. Let's see, male or female, he's a male. Go to step three, okay. Um, human or non-human, mostly human, so we'll go to step four. Superhero, yeah, superhero or non-superhero, he's a superhero, so therefore this is fantastico. Very good. Let's see if it works with her. Male, female, she's a female, so go to step two. Blue pants or black pants, blue pants, that makes her Sarah. So that is how you can make a dichotomous key using student help.